All right, all right, what's going on guys? Soul here, and welcome back to my story mode. So for those of you who don't know who I am, hi, hello, what's going on? My name is Soul, usually referred to as Soul Story Mode as made prominent on my main channel, Soul Story Mode, where we do any and all kinds of Pokemon related content. If that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and check that out over there. We've got plenty of Pokemon content coming up this year, and it's a brand new year, so we've got plenty of news and stuff to cover and talk about and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, go check that out over there. Over here, we talk about literally anything else in the gaming realm, in the anime realm, possibly the book realm we'll see where we'll see where the wind takes us right <laughs> and so today i have to kind of kick it into high gear in the in a gear three or four if you will because uh today we got to talk about <laughs> the delusions that are surrounding the kh fandom right now kh obviously standing for kingdom hearts and i am very much a part of said fandom Okay, I love Kingdom Hearts to death. It's my favorite series of all time. Kingdom Hearts 2 is my favorite game of all time. Kingdom Hearts 3 coming in at a very close, close second, right? And I love this series to hell and back, which is why I, like millions of others, was super pumped when we got our first announcement for Kingdom Hearts 4 back in 2022, April of 2022. So, yeah, it's been about two years since that announcement, right? And so, you know, people are a little antsy, you know, they're kind of waiting on Kingdom Hearts news and stuff like that. And as of today, it is actually the fifth anniversary. It's been five years since the release of Kingdom Hearts 3, right? And so that's a big day, right? We, when we first heard about Kingdom Hearts 3, that was all the way back in like 2013, right? We didn't get the game itself until 2019. And by that time, it looked completely different than the original vision they had. Okay, and we all had a good time with it. People had mixed feelings about it, of course. And then we eventually got the Remind DLC about a year later. And eventually we got like Melody and Memory and stuff like that. But, you know, after Kingdom Hearts 3, Melody and Memory decided. <laughs> it's been a while since we had gotten actual real Kingdom Hearts news. Okay, and so we were really, really, you know, we've been really antsy for a while now. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen the memes circulating Twitter and Insta maybe and other things that, you know, you might have your Kingdom Hearts friends added on uh, where, you know, we're all painting ourselves as clowns right now, right? And the reason for that is because we are getting a PlayStation State of Play this Wednesday, this upcoming Wednesday. So it's going to be January 31st, right? And... <laughs> It's so funny to see how absolutely delusional we are. And I just, that's, that's the topic that I wanted to cover today. Why are we absolutely just this delusional that we're going to be receiving Kingdom Hearts news of all things at a PlayStation State of Play? Okay, for those of you who don't know, PlayStation State of Play is essentially like Nintendo's Nintendo Direct, where they give us news and updates about upcoming games that are coming out on their platform for the upcoming year. It's still very early in 2024, so it was pretty much granted that we were going to get some kind of big, you know, eventful thing to give us and showcase some of the games that we have to look forward to for this upcoming year, right? So with this PlayStation State of Play... The Kingdom Hearts fans are coming out in droves right now. Just hoping, just hoping for some kind of crumb, some itty bitty, teeny bitty, little, little crumb of Kingdom Hearts news, right? And that's what I wanted to cover today because, you know, I, I'm I'm on that bandwagon, man. I'm, I'm praying for a little bit of a crumb, right? <laughs> so let's talk about that for a minute. So when you really look back on it, the last time that we received any real Kingdom Hearts content was back in October of 2020, right? And with that was the release of Melody of Memory, which was the last tidbit, the final tidbit of Kingdom Hearts information that would lead us into Kingdom Hearts 4. What was happening with Kyrie? what was happening with, you know, her side of the story, where Sora might have ended up, how Riku might get there, long story short it's definitely not worth playing just go watch the end of melody of memory if you haven't already to catch up with what's going on with kingdom hearts if you haven't already right and so after that it's been dry just absolutely nothing not a zilch not a single tidbit or crumb of kingdom hearts games remasters just no no news or anything right except except for <laughs> the little bit of news that they've been dropping crumb by crumb for Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, which is the next mobile game 
after Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and Kingdom Hearts Dark Road. This is going to be the thing that holds like a lot of lore regarding, you know, uh, possibly Quadratum, you know, everything that's involved with uh, Scarlet Tylum and stuff like that, you know, what was going on during that time, a little bit of what happened after everything that happened in Union Cross, like the events afterwards. It's just a lot of explaining that and the player character's role in that storyline. And so Missing Link is going to be what we're going to be enjoying mostly, most likely before we get our hands on Kingdom Hearts 4. That's going to be very important for us because Numor likes to do that to us. He likes to torture us by getting, giving us these super important crumbs in mobile games and in different ways oh, it's, it's crazy but if you know kingdom hearts you already know how this works by now everybody's had a ds everybody played 358 over two days why was that on the ds anyway i digress we're supposed to be getting missing link eventually however that's just it right we received a little bit of information regarding missing link uh like a month or two ago maybe longer actually i i I, I've stopped counting the days <laughs> when we get anything regarding Kingdom Hearts news because the more I dwell on it, the longer it feels like it takes. We got Missing Link news a while back and, you know, people were talking about, you know, how the game is supposed to work, how it's going to function, how much battery life is going to suck out of your phone because it's a mobile game. So you're supposed to be playing that out on the go like it's Pokemon Go, except now you're fighting Heartless on the go. And it is really unique. It is a very unique take and I'm very interested and I'm very much going to be abusing my phone once that game comes out. However, the problem is, I think they've had about two different betas now for Kingdom Hearts Missing Link. It's closed, and we have had nothing. Zilch, as far as an update regarding Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, right? And so here's the problem with that. While I don't necessarily mind the wait for Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, I'm impatient because the longer we have to wait for Missing Link to give us something, the longer we have to wait for anything from Kingdom Hearts 4. Because with something as important as Missing Link, we're not going to get any crucial information on the next big step. Because Missing Link is the next step in between. So if we don't get Missing Link, we don't get Kingdom Hearts 4. It's as simple as that. I mean, granted, it might sound ridiculous, but that's kind of how things go. I don't know if you noticed this, but when Kingdom Hearts Union Cross was still being heavily updated well, throughout those years that we were waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3, that was all we were getting until Kingdom Hearts 3 because Union Cross and Dark Road was very important to Kingdom Hearts 3. You actually did have to pay attention to the story and, you know, you know, just take that in a little bit before going into Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm sorry to tell you, Kingdom Hearts is convoluted as hell. <laughs> but with that in mind, now we're thinking, okay, well, when is Missing Link happening? No idea. And what they're not going to do is give us an announcement for Missing Link, a mobile game, at something like PlayStation State of Play. So I think it's safe to say that we are delusional and we are not getting any Kingdom Hearts news at PlayStation State of Play, right? And the other big reason that I think that we're delusional about this is because we have to keep in mind... Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Square Enix's other big baby, Nomura's other biggest baby, is literally confirmed to have a presence at this next state of play at, for your, your guys' sake, tomorrow. So, why in the world would they give us Kingdom Hearts news on top of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth news? One thing at a time. Right, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is the thing that we're getting literally a month from today. It is like exactly on the mark one month today, we are getting Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which means that whatever they're revealing in this trailer is to get everybody as hyped as possible for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth because whatever they reveal here is most likely the last big announcement trailer for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth before they're like, all right, we're leaving it in, in the hands of God here. We're leaving it to fate for all of you guys to pick this game up and hopefully you enjoy it so that we can get started on the next part of Final Fantasy VII Remake. So, yeah, um, we're not getting Kingdom Hearts 4 news. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to cope with the minute idea that we might receive something regarding Kingdom Hearts 4. It's just not happening. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Dust off your PS4 or, you know, if you have it downloaded on PS5, just replay the games. Do yourself a favor. Just cope.
Just just go play the games that are available right now and just deal with it. Go watch any story or lore that you might have missed for Kingdom Hearts, you know, Union Cross or Dark Road, because I'm not even technically all that caught up on all of that lore. I have the general idea, but not everything, right? So go cope. That's that's all that's that's the only thing I can tell you. Because if you're going into this with high expectations that we're going to get Kingdom Hearts 4 news, you've lost it, bozo. <laughs> You're not a bozo. I'm just saying. This is more for me than anything. I I can't get my hopes up. I can't do it. Not when we had to wait as long as we did for Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 4, there's no way. There's no way. Numora is a straight up liar, okay? Because he told us when we originally got that first trailer back in April of 2022, that at the end of that year, we were going to be receiving news at, what is it? Hacks or Magfest or something, we were supposed to be receiving news or some kind of updates for Kingdom Hearts 4 at that event, and we got nothing. We got absolutely, I don't even think we got Missing Link at that point. We got nothing. So we were just like, oh, great. And it's been almost two full years since he said that. So yeah, I'm giving up. I'm giving up. We're not getting it in 2024. We're not getting it in 2025. 2026, we might get a release trailer. Or no, I'm sorry, not even a release trailer. They might release a trailer regarding some kind of news. And then we'll probably have to wait another two years after that. And whatever. (laughs) It is what it is. I'm going to be playing this series to my dying breath anyway. It doesn't matter how long it takes. I just... I'm just not going to sit here and expect that right now because in Square Enix and Numora time, two years is absolutely nothing. It is nothing. Practically no time has passed for Numora and his team. It could have been as well as, as much as they're concerned, as far as Kingdom Hearts development goes, it's been five minutes, five minutes. Go Coke. That's, that's all I got to say. This is me talking to me. (laughs) All right. I'm not calling y'all bozos. This is me talking to me. Get over it. You're not getting Kingdom Hearts 4 news. That's all there is to it. Okay. And so that's why I just feel like we're a little bit delusional as to, you know, what kind of news we're going to be getting. But yeah, for the most part, um, you know, if we do get Kingdom Hearts 4 news for whatever reason, great, beautiful, wonderful. You won't get me to shut up. Just like everybody else that's in love with this series to hell and back, I will be screaming to the heavens if we get some kind of news regarding Kingdom Hearts 4. But I'm not holding out hope for it. I am at the point where I just don't believe it's going to happen at all. I'm not going into this state of play expecting literally anything, anything outside of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Rise of Ronin, because those are the only two things that I really care about right now i mean they might talk about something else that i completely forgot about in that place i should say to play but for now that's what i'm thinking about nothing else but what are you guys thinking do you think that we'll be receiving some kind of news regarding kingdom hearts 4 am i crazy for thinking that we're not and we're actually going to get some crazy big reveal and possibly even a release date you know what i'm saying or or am i right (laughs) <laughs> yeah, no. Do you think that I'm absolutely on the correct side and that we're getting absolutely zilch and that we're all crazy for even hoping that we might get a crumb or a speck of Kingdom Hearts news, even though Missing Link isn't even a thing for us yet? Tell me everything that you guys are thinking in the comment section below because you know for a fact that I'm always, always, always going to be down there with you guys. But with that, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, no, it's, it's time to skedaddle. So I'd like to thank you guys ever so much for watching. I truly do hope you enjoyed Do me the greatest favor of dropping a like and a comment and consider subscribing for more content just like this here. And with that, I'm gonzo. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Do me the greatest favor of taking good ass care and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Why did I wink like that?